This is a refreshing drink straight from Brazil. I'm Brian Johnson, and in this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we're making the Caipirinha. This is a very nice drink, very simple, and it's from Brazil. We're gonna start making it right now. This is what's called a built drink, and that we build the cocktail in the glass we're gonna serve it in. So I've got that at the ready here. It's a rocks glass. Um, now, a key component to this drink is lime. And depending on the size of your lime, if you have a small lime, I'd probably use the whole thing. I'm probably, these are, these are pretty big limes I have right here, so I'm probably going to use half of it. Then you can see in the middle here, there's a, kind of a white center of the, of the lime. And I like to cut it out. I think it's just... It's a preference that you don't need to you can totally leave it in and because you're going to muddle this eventually but i personally just like to to cut it out i think it's it's pretty easy to do and i think it makes it a little bit nicer when i'm muddling so just cut it into like little kind of smaller pieces you know quarters or or what have you put that in the bottom of your glass So now you've got that, you're going to want to add some sugar. Um, this isn't exact, I mean some flexibility. I'll probably do about, you know, two, two decent sized bar spoons. And once we've got that in there, we're going to muddle. And the whole goal here is to get all the lime juice out of the lime that you put in your glass. And you want to be kind of careful that you're not muddling real hard because you're obviously doing this in the glass and so you don't want to break it. And I mean, you can feel when you when you push push down on your muddler and you're, you're crushing the lime, you're getting the juice out. You want to make sure it's all mixed in really well with the sugar. Just kind of Make sure you're, you're thorough. And then once you've got all the lime juice out, you can add the spirit in this cocktail. Now, this calls for a spirit called Cachaça, and it um, comes out of Brazil, and it's a relative to rum, um, in that it comes from you know, sugar cane. Rum is based on the molasses process. This is um, straight sugar cane, so. This particular brand I'm using is called Novo Fogo, um, and I really like it. Um, this is one of those I always recommend people they try different spirits. So um, LeBlanc is a, another one that's pretty um, nationally distributed across America, at least that I know of. I had that one at first. It was okay, but then I was like, it low. I was like, oh, I'm going to try a different one, and I bought the Novo Fogo, and actually I much prefer it. So it's kind of my go-to um, cachaça right now. They have a, a silver, which is I'm using here, and they also have a gold that's aged. Um, for a lot much longer period of time. So we're going to do two ounces of cachaça. And add that to our, our glass. Now we want to add our ice. I'm pretty... I'm pretty liberal with my ice in this drink just because um, you know, it's all spirit except for lime juice and I like a little bit of dilution. And then once I've done that, I like to mix it up, get everything incorporated, bring some of that sugar up from the bottom. That's, that's really all there is to it. That's, that's the drink. Um, simplicity is, is a nice thing. Now when you taste it, you obviously get the cachaça, um, which is a lot of, it's kind of grassy, um, vegetal, but it's really nice, really refreshing, really light. Um, then you obviously get the lime, and a little bit of sweetness from the sugar. I mean, it's pretty much, 
It's very similar to a daiquiri in that a daiquiri is, you know, rum, lime, sugar. This is cachaça, lime, sugar. So they're, you know, they're very similar. Um, but I think the technique with the muddling and leaving the limes and you get a little bit of lime oil, so you get a touch of that. But it's a very nice drink, and I hope you see it. I mean, it's very popular in, in Brazil. It's, it's very, very common. And it's definitely making progress in America, and we're seeing it more often. But it's a fantastic drink, very refreshing, and I really enjoy it. So that's how you make the caipirinha.